What I want to do is I want to go to the network and I want to browse my network, right? And it says network discovery is turned off. This is the default on a clean install, by the way. That's easy enough. You click on the bar, you say turn on network discovery. Okay, now it's going to look again. And it comes up with center stage RGB. That's the computer we just turned on the desk. Apache, you know that's Mara's office computer. And DS923, that is our Synology Disk Station 923. Normally, I just double click on this and I can see the shares. It's that easy. But now we're getting this error message. Check the spelling, error code 0x800700035. The network path was not found. So the first thing you want to do is check the first three things. Right click down here, network and internet settings. Go to whether you're Wi Fi or Ethernet. In this case, we're on Ethernet. Make sure you're on a private network right here. Go back one right up here. And then down here it says advanced network settings. We're going to click on that. And right here, advanced sharing settings. Click on that. Network discovery. Make sure that's on. Set up network connected devices automatically. I have no idea what that does. Maybe. Whether you turn this on or off, I can't seem to figure out that it's making any difference on my network because I guess I do everything by hand. We want to make sure file and printer sharing is turned on. Now check your public networks and make sure they're off. And then on all networks, finally, this is your password protected sharing. Turn that off. That can lock you out. That's all there is to networking a Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. It's really simple. So you can imagine my frustration when I go, okay, I fixed it now. Let's go back to network. Give it a second here and it should pop up. There's DS923. We double click it. At this point, this makes no sense. This, in theory, we've got everything set correctly. The problem is there's a group policy that has disabled the uh, guest fallback. Now you have to have a username. You have to have a password. And that's explained in the first and the second articles that I have published for you or there in the video notes so that Mara has done. So we're going to type in GP edit and that's going to bring up the edit group policy on Windows Pro versions. I don't believe home versions support group policy editor. There's two settings that we have to change. If you just change one of these settings, it's likely not going to work. You're going to have to change them both. The first one, you type in GP edit. And while you're in GP Edit, you're going to look for this, what we call a uh, folder stack, where we go to Computer Configuration, then we're going to click Windows Settings, then Security Settings, then Local Policies, and then Security Options. So Computer, Windows, Security, I can make this a bit bigger, Local. And then we want to look under, I think it was security options. I have to look again because I've already forgotten. What we're looking for on this first one is something called Microsoft Network Client Digitally Signed Communications Always. Change it to disabled. Microsoft Network Client Digitally Signed Communications Always. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. This all should be uh, alphabetized. Microsoft Client, again, if you can't read things, move it over. Microsoft Network Client, not the server, but the client. Digitally signed communications, always double click. That is disabled already. Good. All right, very good. And then the second one that we want to look for, Computer Configuration Administrative Templates Network Landman Workstation. Computer Configuration. Administrative Templates, Network, Landman, Workstation. So we're going to go back over here. Let's close this out. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network, Landman, Workstation. And we're looking for something that says Enable Insecure Guest Logins. Double click on that. It says Not Configured. Turn that to Enabled. I'm going to apply it, click OK. 
I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to go back without a reboot. I'm just going to go back over here, back to network. Should see my DS923 come up. Double click. Sometimes the, uh, the DS923 takes a minute to wake up. Boom. We have access now. Look at that. It's all fixed. Everything works. Problem solved. So that'll wrap it up for me for today. I will see you all again very, very soon. Until next time, bye for now.